you very much, Pauline, and thank you very much for inviting me uh, along this evening. It's, uh, uh, well, it's a huge honour to be speaking to you all about a, a subject which I love dearly, which are uh, country house sales. And um, I've been working at Bonhams for, gosh, 19 years now. Uh, started as a porter, and uh, um, now I'm director of house sales and private collections at Bonhams. And it's, it's I started in the furniture department, and um, I've always loved antiques, you know, ever since I was a child. Uh, but it's really history that I love, and um, and it's the fact that these items are a tangible connection to 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 our past, to history. And so moving into house sales, uh, which I did in 2014, was always a bit of a dream. And you know, the dream when you work in in house sales is is to go into amazing houses, and uh, there really isn't anywhere more amazing than Dunrobin Castle. I mean, it's 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 easily the most beautiful and spectacular building in the north of Scotland. I would say it's got to be in the top 10 of, of, of the most spectacular buildings in the whole of the United Kingdom. I mean, it's it's an amazing, amazing castle that, that when you drive up there, you, you see it and it, it, it doesn't seem real. It doesn't seem real that there can be this fantastical um, sort of Bavarian, Disney-esque, um, turreted castle, um, uh, you know, in the north of Scotland, because it, it is it is something very magical. And uh, going through it uh, was, was, was a huge, huge treat. But before I I bang on about it, which I'm going to do for, for at least half an hour, I'm afraid. Um, Pauline, I didn't suppose you could show the uh -huh. video. We did a very short video, which just sort of a synopsis of, of what, uh, of, of, of a slightly edited synopsis of what, what I encountered on my first trip. So uh, here it is in video form. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Sorry, I'm a, I went to the, the next page. Sorry. <laughs> Got, um, you're going to see where, where you can fit anyway. Come and oh, here we are. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Pauline. You can see that video on our website um, anytime. Um, and it's, uh, it's really just gives sort of, sort of flavor of, of the experience that we had when we first went up there. And um, I mean, it really is, it's, you know, I think the first thing is probably to talk a little bit about castle's history. Um, the, the, the castle, or the, the, the title of the Earl of Sutherland um, uh, has been around since uh, medieval times. So, so the, the title of Earl of Sutherland was first created in, I think it was 1248. So that predates Robert the Bruce. I mean, I think that was, you know, that was a, gosh, is that about, about sort of 20 years before Robert the Bruce? I mean, you know, the, the history um, uh, that, that sort of this family is entwined in, in, in well, in Scottish history is, is, is phenomenal. And um, although the castle that, uh, that everyone knows now is mainly the creation of um, the amazing architect, uh, Charles Barry, who remodeled it, in uh, the 19th century, um, uh, still enclosed is that medieval keep. So, so, so the foundations of a medieval uh, keep are still there, and then it's been built on and built on. And then what you see now is is this am amazing creation that uh, that, that, that Barry really um, uh, remodeled it. And then, in fact, um, uh, the interiors, a lot of interiors, were then um, remodeled again by uh, uh, Robert Lorimer, the uh, the great Scottish arts and crafts uh, um, architect. Um, after fire, fire in 1919. Um, the, uh, so the, the title of the Earl of Sutherland has been around for an awful long time. The title of the Duke of Sutherland um, is a 19th century title. And um, uh, it was the first Duke of Sutherland who um, I suppose 
um, is, is, is the first person that we're going to start our, our, our to journey back into uh, um, the past with. He was a uh, um, he was an Englishman, married a, a Scotswoman, and uh, um, and then uh, inherited or, or um, along with his other uh, three estates in England, um, uh, Dunrobin. He then wanted a grand ducal palace um, uh, and uh, hosted amazing uh, sporting parties, and it was an incredible sporting state. But actually, it was it was his uh, it was son, the second duke, who uh, who employed uh, Barry to remodel it. Um, and then it really was it was uh, you know, the grand ducal palace that his father had had uh, always imagined and envisaged, and and huge you know um, uh, uh, parties and um, I suppose the nearest. Um, I, I can you know, put it in, in uh, more uh, tangible terms is, is probably if you imagine Downton Abbey and, and the huge sort of weekends that uh, um, I don't know if you've seen Downton Abbey, but the huge sporting weekends that, that um, they would show and create, you know, that that's what was going on at Dunrobin. And um, what was selling from the castle, they are not uh, by any means um, uh, the items that you'll see when you go and, and view it. And, and it does welcome thousands and thousands of visitors every year. These are items from the attics and, and the cellars. And I think the wonderful thing about um, a castle, um, especially one the size of Dunrobin, is, um, is there's no sort of space issue. Um, uh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Pauline. I forgot about these slides. There we are. That, that's, that's, um, uh, that's a castle uh, looking at from the Italian gardens, again created by uh, Barry. Barry, in fact, um, most famous probably for, for um, remodeling the Palace of Westminster. But he also is responsible for uh, um, uh, remodeling the Highclere Castle, where Downton um, Abbey was filmed. Mm. Anyway, there we are. That's the uh, the castle from the Italian Gardens, and um, and so the wonderful thing about uh, you know a vast vast home like that is that there's no sort of restrictions on space. Mm. Now I spend my life throwing things out. Um, in fact, my, my my favorite occupation is 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 going to the dump and and, and just having a good old clear out. But when you've got you know um, hundreds of rooms, uh, there, there, there just isn't that pressure, and uh, so over over you know, well I suppose hundreds of years, when things haven't been needed, they've simply been put into another empty room, and um, most of the things we found were from the attics. And when I say the attics, they are they're the original staff quarters. So where the staff would um, uh, have slept um, is right at the top of the house, and um, in, in eaves, and although it sounds pretty grim, they are they were actually charming rooms, and all overlooking the uh, the sea, which was absolutely magical. So I don't know if we can go to the next slide, please. Uh -huh. um, this one, John. Yep. Share it. That'll help. Here we are. So here we are. Here we've got an old maid's bedroom. Um, and you can see the Victorian wallpaper uh, slowly peeling away and, um, and, and a dinner service. Now that is a 500 piece dinner service, um, uh, which is, is surplus requirements. And, you know, you know, again, you know, that this is, this is, these are all items um, from another, another age, another time, you know, a time which, which, you know, we're never going to see again. Mm -hmm. um, uh, where people would, would host, you know, dinner parties for, for you know, 60 people. And, um, and so this is just one room filled with one dinner service. <laughs> and, um, and it wasn't the only room. There were a lot of rooms like this. In fact, we'll, we'll go to the next slide. Mm -hmm. okay. um. So I, when I went in, I was met by the, uh, the uh, castles managing director, who's a super guy called Scott Morrison. And uh, the first place we went up to was, was the attic. Um, first thing that really concerned me was how was, uh, was I ever going to find my way back? Uh, because there is no electricity up there. Um, anyway, if we go to the next slide, you'll see the next, the next room that I encountered. Here we are. So here's an old, um, this is, this is a, uh, um, uh, I suppose a, a maid's or, or a, um, one of the servants' washrooms, again just off the corridors in, in the uh, in the top floor, and uh, we've got some some weemsware there. Um, again, none of these rooms are used. Uh, these are these are all rooms that you know um, uh, were once obviously filled with staff 
um, uh, looking after, um, uh, I suppose, you know, uh, the family. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, but now, now I'm getting used to storage. Um, and anyway, if you could, for next slide, if that's possible. In fact, just Pauline, if you just, if you just run through them and then I'll, I'll keep talking as, as we, um, I'll, I'll talk as we, we um, as you bring them up. Here we are. Now this is a, uh, these are fun. These are um, uh, a pair of gilt bronze, 9th century gilt bronze um, uh, candlesticks, which have been adapted into uh, lamp bases. But I don't know if you can see there, but you might be able to see on the other slide a detail. It's uh, got a lovely engraving there. It says the Duchess's bath. Um, uh, and actually it's one of my, one of my favorite lots in the sale. I think it's just, it's so brilliant that, you know, you've got uh, um, at one stage, you can imagine uh, there must've been hundreds of these. Um, and it just so happens that uh, one that we found says the Duchess's bathroom. Anyway, there we are. I think that's a charming lot. So we'll move on to the next slide. Um, this is fun. This is, uh, again, we're in the attic and um, uh, we're, we're, that room, that first shot you saw of that room with that huge 500 piece dinner service is right at the, uh, at, at the end of this corridor. And here we've got some amazing meat dishes, um, these cloches, um, beautifully uh, um, gilded and um, you know, painted with, uh, and then all, all with the Sutherland cipher, the entwined S's. And um, you can just see there's a big majolica salmon dish at the end. And then there's an oyster, uh, majolica oyster dish as well. Um, you know, great fun. I mean, there's this, and so this, uh, these, these amazing um, uh, cloches or meat domes, they're all from one huge dinner service um, that's coming up for the sale. Um, and it just, you know, it's just mind blowing. You just cannot imagine, um, uh, you know, a time when these would be used. But um, so, so I suppose for me, it's, it's, it's that fact that you're getting so close to history, which I find absolutely fascinating. And they are the most beautiful works of art. Um, I can't imagine whoever buys these will use them, but they will look absolutely spectacular um, uh, wherever they're displayed because they are just so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, there we are, all piled outside on a corridor, and we'll move on or we'll get to the next slide if possible. Yep. Um, this is, I love this room. This is the pantry, an old pantry. Um, we've got lovely marble work services, and again, just, just lots of lovely things just sort of piled up. Um, you've got uh, my favourite thing. In fact, is is uh, is just on the um, shelf to the left. That is a collection of Grand Tour plaster medallions. Um, the, uh, the 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 Southerns were were incredible um, uh, explorers and travellers. Now it was very common for nineteenth um, century aristocratic uh, uh, families to go on the Grand Tour, and and that mainly um, uh, uh, meant going to Italy. Um, and uh, when going to Italy, they would, um, uh, they would, they would uh, bring back um, antiquities, Roman antiquities or, or 19th century carved copies. Um, and these, these are a collection of, of, um, of marble uh, plaster casts of, of intaglios, which uh, were originally in a book. And um, that book has then been framed. And I think it, it's, it's uh, I think they're absolutely charming. I, I love them anyway. but. Uh, the Southerns were incredible explorers. So they didn't just go to Italy, they went, um, they went uh, absolutely everywhere. They had a yacht and uh, they traveled to Africa and, and um, uh, America and South America. And this is a time when, when travel was, was really um, not for the faint hearted. And, uh, um, and if you ever go to Dunrobin um, or if you've been, you'll know already They've got the most amazing summer house in the gardens, which is stuffed full. It's a real sort of Victorian um, museum of, of natural history, uh, curios, and then also treasures brought back from their travels. Um, I mean, everything from uh, oceanic and or African or pre-Columbian. It's, it's, it's uh, well worth a, uh, a trip. But anyway, that that uh, collection of Grand Tour plus some medallions is in the sale. It's a sort of a nod to uh, to to their. Um, uh, the amazing um, uh, uh, sort of journeys as explorers. Mm-hmm. Um, the uh, other things there that I can see, I can see cartridge loading machines, um, taxidermy. Um, there's some some shields, uh, um, and you know all the sort of things that you that, you know you, you expect to find in in a, in a country house. 
uh, pantry that's no longer used. There we are. Um, <laughs> there's an old mortar, huge mortar, pestle yeah. mortar. Um, anyway, so all of these are coming up for sale. Mm -hmm. um, if we go to the next slide. Oh, uh, there's a detail, there's a detail of his medallions, which are just lovely. Yeah, um, and then all uh, uh, inscribed with what they are and where they're from, mm -hmm. uh, which is rather charming. Um, some bits and pieces of arms in the cell, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> um, and here we are now in the cellar, and again, you know, um, another room, big room, full of um, uh, lanterns and that chair, that chair which um, uh, has got a, a flag sort of um, draped over it, and the uh, I couldn't work out what the animal was. I thought it might have been a wildcat because the um, the wildcat is the uh, is the southern crest. In fact, it's not a wildcat; it's an otter. Oh. Um, but uh, anyway, there we are. Took me a bit of a while to work it out. Um, but it, you can just see in the background there's you know there's some 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 very early skis, um, and you know all in the cell. There's a, there's a lovely gilt bronze lantern, sadly lacking its glass, but again it's in, in the cell. Um, and again, just another room where 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 things were. Um, where we're put, where they're no longer used. Um, and uh, so, uh, yeah, it's, I'm not sure I'd want to sit on that chair with that also there, but anyway, no. good advisor can decide. <laughs> um, anyway, the next, the next slide. Here we are, this is, um, this is, uh, this was a great discovery. So it was my last day. So the first, my first trip up to Dunlobin was August, last August, and it was the most beautiful weather. We were having a heat wave in London and it was absolutely unbearable. And um, so uh, uh, I traveled up to um, Inverness, flew up to Inverness and then hired a car, drove to Dunrobin and it was sort of a glorious 24 degrees or 25 degrees. And uh, I was there for a week. And on the last day, um, the super chap called Scott, who was showing us around, um, said, I've just found another room. And it was our last day and we had our flight was, was uh, um, uh, approaching and we had to start thinking about um, heading down to um, back to the airport and so anyway so we thought we better go and have a look at this extra room and then in this room there we are were, was a room full of marble busts and um, all 19th century marble busts all mainly carved in the mid 19th century we're looking at Prince Albert there mm -hmm. um, and then um, uh, um, now Prince Albert there's a, there's a great Victorian connection with the castle um, Harriet the second Duchess of Sutherland was uh, was friends of uh, uh, Queen Victoria. She was mistress of the robes. In fact, her daughter-in-law um, uh, was also mistress of the robes um, to Queen Victoria. Um, and Queen Victoria came to Dan Robin and stayed at uh, the castle. And uh, in fact, they built a bed especially for her. Um, now, why there's all these busts in the cellar, I don't know. And as you can see, they've been there for an awful long time. I can imagine that, uh, that the, the marble bust of Albert was carved because they were probably expecting Albert to come to the castle along with Queen Victoria, but he never actually made it up there. And I just wonder whether um, because of that, um, uh, um, uh, he was uh, um, relegated to the cellar, not um, <laughs> because they were cross that he didn't make it up to the castle, but, but maybe they just you know, never got it out to uh, put on display. And then, um, then next to Prince Albert, there's uh, the second Duke, um, uh, he's been carved in the manner of a Roman emperor, which was a very fashionable way to, uh, to have your portrait bust carved uh, back in the 19th century. And then next to him, that, that uh, striking bearded chap, that is the fourth Duke of Sutherland. Mm -hmm. Now, what's really interesting about that um, uh, uh, bust is it's, it's very big. In fact, you don't really get a, an idea of a scale uh, from the photograph. Um, he is absolutely huge. And, um, and when we, uh, uh, with, with marble busts, you often find they're signed on the back. And uh, as, as we found with, with this chap, so we were able to swivel him ar around because he's on a circular circle. And um, he was uh, signed Charlotte Dubray. Um, and uh, she was a, a French, um, uh, a female uh, sculptor. And that was quite rare to have uh, um, female uh, sculptors um, back in um, uh, uh, at the end of the nineteenth century, just because the uh, it was a it was a 
incredibly difficult and um, uh, you know, labor intensive um, uh, material to work with. Um, and uh, we did a bit of digging on this and actually it was the, uh, uh, this Duke, um, the fourth Duke, um, so actually it must be early 20th century, um, uh, um, he uh, sponsored her. He patronized, so he was the patron for this particular French sculptor, um, which uh, is very interesting. And, and in fact, him and his wife, um, they, they both had a love of the arts and, um, and it was very common for, uh, for, for um, uh, uh, people of wealth and, and means to, uh, to patronize uh, uh, members of the arts and, um, and they patronized this, uh, this, this, this French female sculptor, uh, Charlotte Dubray. And, um, and it is a really magnificent um, uh, uh, piece of sculpture, I and mean, it is the most incredible work of art. And 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 you know the scale is is, is also incredibly impressive. Just behind him or next to him, to the right, you can't really see it, but that is um, Harriet. Uh, Harriet. Um, there's three marble busts of Harriet, all exactly the same. Now, um, interestingly. Um, uh, it is very often with these families where the uh, the 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 uh, purchases are are often more interesting um, than her husbands and and Harriet is uh, um, is incredibly interesting. She was uh, you know a real philanthropist and um, and was was I imagine trying to sort of uh, um, I think of a modern day equivalent. I can't really think of a modern day equivalent, but she was she was a huge society member, you know, important member of society um, uh, during the uh, 19th century, and would host amazingly lavish parties, both in uh, um, at Dunrobin, but mainly in London at their house, uh, um, Stafford House, um, uh, in St James's, and um, in fact, Queen Victoria on one occasion going to Stafford House said to Harriet, um, how lovely is to come to your palace from my house. <laughs> um, uh, because it was, uh, in fact, Stafford, Stafford House um, is actually now, it's Lancaster House. Uh, um, I think I got that right. Lancaster House um, rather than Lancaster House Hotel? Uh, no, no, Lancaster oh. House down in St. James's. Oh yes, St. James's, yeah. Um, uh, and uh, anyway, so she, she was, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously an amazing lady. Um, a confidant to Queen Victoria, a real philanthropist, and and um, and I would imagine the reason why there are three spare busts of Harriet was that every time that she would open a school or or a, a building, um, a bus would be donated to uh, to wherever um, uh, whatever institution or, or building that she had just opened, um, or uh, that she was the uh, the patron of. Um, but uh, interesting also, while digging, doing a little bit of digging on Harriet, um, uh, she uh, um, was, was very much uh, against slavery. Now, slavery obviously had been abolished in England and, uh, uh, well, the rest of the United Kingdom um, at this point, but she wasn't uh, happy with that. She had her uh, eyes set on America, where, where slavery is still um, uh, uh, legal. And she, uh, she said about, um, I'm going to have to get this right. I have uh, made a note. She set up the uh, Stafford House address, which uh, she petitioned um, uh, um, for the abolition, uh, abolition of, of slavery in America. And she came up against the, uh, the president's uh, wife, who at the time was Tyler, I think. Um, can I just see that? Yeah, it's Tyler. And so the first lady, Julia Tyler, um, uh, uh, took umbrage to this and took, well, took exception and, and um, there was a uh, uh, some correspondence that became known as the uh, uh, the women of, um, of of America versus the women of Britain. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, um, uh, so obviously someone that wasn't uh, afraid to speak her mind, um, and uh, yeah, rather fun that you know there, there's these three three marble busts, and um, I, I just find it always fascinating trying to get to know the person that that uh, that is you know um, you know his portrait. Is whether it's a work of art or, or a, a portrait bust like this. Um, I mean, the first duke. We sadly we don't have a bust of the first duke. We've only got the second duke. But the first duke, and 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 his wife, uh, um, uh, they they saw amazing political change because uh, he was the ambassador to France during the French Revolution. Um, so they saw the revolution firsthand. Um, uh, and in fact, unfortunately, there's no, there's no sort of um, nothing 
um, uh, from that that uh, I can relate to the sale. But um, it's, uh, yeah, I do, do find these marble busts absolutely fascinating. Um, and there's a lot of them in the sale. And, and well, both marble and plaster. In fact, there's another slide. Here's the next slide, uh, Pauline. Um, and there, there is Harriet. I, I beg your pardon. There, there's Harriet. There she is. Um, and there's another one of Harriet next to her, who sadly has got a chip on her nose. Uh -huh. um, but again, you know, Layers and layers of dust from from you know never never seen a light of day. Um, and then is there another slide to come? Then one more. Maybe. Bear with me. Or maybe not. Maybe I've. No, I think that's. I think that was it. That was it. Okay. Um, oh, there no, was one more room. Right? Pardon me. There is. There is more. Don't, yeah. Hang on. Uh, I'll get them sorted. You, you just uh, I'll carry on. Carry on, and I'll start away. Um, so yeah, no. So this, so this all happened on this last day, and um, and I had absolutely no time to uh, to listen. I just took as many photographs as I could, um, uh, and uh, and then oh look, here we are. So going back. So this is the day before. This was uh, um, uh, a, uh, a silver room. Uh, again, full of you know masses of silver. I mean, again. You know, these houses, um, uh, we, we were hosting vast, vast um, uh, dinners and, and sporting weekends would require vast, vast amounts of silver. Um, and uh, a lot of it uh, um, obviously not used today and, uh, and everything you see on these green bays, green bays lined shelves are, uh, are now surplus requirements and um, they're going to be in the sale, including um, a, a dozen silver plates. Mm -hmm. um, silver's lovely, but the uh, problem is you've got to clean it. Yes. Um, which, uh, if you've got masses of staff, is, I guess, uh, not an issue. But uh, um, in these uh, uh, different times, um, that's more of an issue. Um, so there we are. There we've got um, uh, some lovely, you know, lots of presentation silver. You can see that lovely inkwell with some, some deer hounds. Um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a mountain on the top, you know, they're, they're again a, a, a presentation lot. Um, there's lots of lots of things uh, um, presented to the um, his grace on, on, on the occasion of his wedding anniversary or his grace on, on occasion of his birthday, mm -hmm. which was all rather fun um, uh, at seeing these inscriptions. And again, it sort of it just links these items to, to their past. Um, you've got a Duchess coronet there uh, that's in the sale. Um, and uh, just to the left, there's a, uh, um, uh, a cigar lighter, a table cigar lighter in the form of a, of a, of a grenade, um, which is also the uh, motto of a Grenadier Guards cap badge. Um, so yeah, so lots, of, lots of fun going through there. Um, there's a hunting horn. Um, uh, yeah. uh, I mean, all, everything you, you expect to find um, in, a, uh, in, a, in a strong room. Um, wine labels. All sorts. Um, and then if we go to the next slide, um, these are just a selection of the arms and armor that's in the sale. Um, wow. Again, great fun going through these. That's, I love that blunderbuss, which is uh, yeah. um, uh, in, in, in the, uh, the foreground there. Um, but along, uh, you know, together with the blunderbuss, which is a you know, fun thing, there's, there's wonderful presentation swords. There's skin doors and dirks and um, wonderful pair of Scottish dueling pistols, uh, which, are, which are incredibly rare. Um, and uh, lots of muskets. Um, and uh, yeah, no, am amazing things. Um, uh, and again, these, these are all, these are all, you know, uh, things that haven't been on, aren't on view. I mean, obviously they're, they're, there's, there's plenty of of, of swords and, and arms on view at, at the castle. And the, these are items that have been locked away again for, for years and years. Um, and uh, and you know, amazing that, um, um, uh, it, yeah, it's, it's a real, real sort of uh, um, link to history. Um, but yeah, no, so that, that, was, that, was, that was huge fun going into that room, as you can imagine. Um, and then it's another slide for me. Is that, will we really, come to the end of it. Um, um, let me just double check. I think we've, I think we've gone through everything. Well, I think we might have. 
Um, but yeah, so it, it's so the sale the sale was supposed to take place this month. Um, in fact, it's supposed to be taking ne place next next week. But because of COVID, um, we we made a decision that we'll postpone it to uh, to um, April. Um, the main reason being it's just it's it, it, it's uh, we have we are continuing to do auctions online. But with this um, with this sale, we wanted to, uh, uh, to give people the opportunity to view it in person. Mm -hmm. We're hoping. We're hoping, 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 keeping everything, everything crossed that, that uh, by the 20th of April, um, you know, there will be viewing of some sort, um, uh, whether it's, it's um, um, uh, you know, as, as, as we used to do back in 2019 in the good old days, whether it will be by appointment, um, uh, uh, there will be viewing of some sort, I hope. And, um, and also, it was a slight issue of restrictions of, of getting from London to uh, Scotland and, and not coming up. <laughs> Yes. against uh, uh, <laughs> uh, um, the police at the border. So uh, anyway, the decision was made. We're going to postpone the sale to the 20th of April. Um, the sale will take place um, in our Edinburgh sale rooms and uh, hopefully everything will be on view. Uh, we're having lovely, specially commissioned lot tags uh, um, created uh, to sort of commemorate this sale because it's, although it's an attic sale, you know, which, which you know, I, I, I probably shouldn't say it's an auctioneer. I, I, and attic sale is lovely for me because you know we're, we're not selling the, the the family silver as such you know mm -hmm. that is is staying there uh, in in the castle and and you know will be will be enjoyed by by millions of people i mean thousands of people view it every year and, and it, you know that's wonderful but you know, these are all items that are surplus requirements that, that you know are, are in the um uh, um uh, you know in, from the attics and the sellers in the uh, um summer house um a few items from a from a for, from a home in london um that you know haven't been um uh, seen for for, for 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 years and years and it, you know it's wonderful that people will get um you know to to buy a piece of history and um and then it's wonderful that we can tell the story uh, that goes with it and 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 you know there are so many layers of, of the story um and um i feel a bit like winston churchill when he was you know asked to speak for half an hour he said Ask me to speak for half an hour. I need uh, uh, a day to prepare. Ask me to speak for a day. I need, you know, half an hour. I think I just made that up. Anyway, it's something along <laughs> those lines. Something like um, that. Something like that. <laughs> I, could, I could probably waffle on. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I could probably waffle on for, for a day. Um, because there are so many layers and layers of history. And um, we haven't even, you know, uh, touched on the, um, um, on, on, on there's, there's a whole collection of, of, of beautiful paintings um, of, 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 north of Scotland and Dunrobin oh. by the first uh, Duchess of, of Sutherland, um, uh, uh, Elizabeth. And, um, you know, they really are, you know, they're lovely. And, and you know, these, these are, they're not expensive pieces. You know, they're, they're uh, you know, actually um, estimates for the sale start at 50 pounds mm -hmm. um, and they go up to 20,000 pounds. But, you know, there's, there's an awful lot in the, uh, you know, in, in that um, you know, uh, very easily um, graspable, of uh, uh, price bracket, and there's and, a which I think is wonderful. Catalog on, online at the moment, Charles. It's, I'm is, sorry, Paul. Is the catalog online? The catalog is not online. I'm just I'm just pacing it up together. It's uh, yeah, no, that's I, fine. I, I, I I'm, for another month. You're all right. <laughs> it's gonna go. It's gonna go online. It's gonna go online beginning of March. Yes. Um, uh, and it's uh, um, and then it'll be available online. Everyone can view it online, or uh, the catalog uh, can be purchased. Um, well, so it's uh. And we, we've tried, we've, the catalogue is, um, it's a real sort of, well, it's, it's, it's a uh, smorgasbord of lovely photographs and, um, uh, and, and uh, you know, various essays on, on the castle and its history and, and, and you know, the various links. So there's a little piece on Harriet and a little piece on, on Elizabeth, the first duchess, mm -hmm. um, who, uh, who, who was, was a great friend of, of Walter Scott. And um, um, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's a, yeah, it's a fascinating um, sort of, tour of of a bygone era um and and yeah and, and one last thing which i which i didn't send you a slide of which is so stupid of me um uh, there's uh, also in that same room where all those busts were uh was this huge huge painted panel big 19th century painted uh framed panel um with five of the ten commandments and um i can only imagine it sort of hung in the in the servant's dining hall or somewhere as a sort of you know, constant reminder sort of behave in a a godly fashion um and again you know that's something that's coming going in a sale 
and it, 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 it's, you know, it's such a bonkers thing, you know, I'll never see another one and the problem, you know, there, there won't be another one. It's, it's, oh. um, um, and it's, uh, yeah, it, it's an extraordinary thing. Anyway, there we are. I probably banged on far too long. Well, that, that's wonderful. I'd like to ask a question before I throw it open to everyone else. Um, when you, when you yeah. went for the week, do you go up and do you, do you just, uh, are you a historian really? And you, you collect all the information as well as the, as well as the items and, and, uh, and value the items. How does it? How does that part of it work? So what I do is uh, I go out with a team, um, and um, hopefully we've got a bit of information first. And with this one, we knew there, there was a, a picture store. We knew there was a ceramics, uh, lots of ceramics, um, uh, and we knew there was going to be silver to look at. So we went out with a, with a team of uh, of uh, uh, three of us, uh, plus the um, the castle's curator. Mm -hmm. who looked after us um and then we uh, we got to work we had the tour by um um uh, uh, the castle's md scott mm -hmm. and uh, and then we were left on our own devices and we go around literally for a week listing everything mm -hmm. and um that we find and then we we present that to uh, um uh, lord sutherland and, and the castle's curator to go through and um and then after a bit of a um, uh, negotiation, uh, uh, we, we were lucky enough to be awarded the sale. Then it's when we go back again to uh, um, uh, to do the photography, the videos, the uh, um, and and also you know spend a bit more time more time for pieces. Um, and that's always my favourite bit. In fact, my favourite bit is probably that first day when you you, sort of, you, know, that, you just walk around with your, your mouth open, or, or you try and walk around without your mouth open. And, mm -hmm. and, um, Trying to play it pretty cool, but um, um, uh, it, it's I don't know. It's 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 it, it, I I do feel incredibly lucky that that you know, be able to go into these places and explore these items and open mm -hmm. these drawers and mm -hmm. open these doors, which are uh, you know these these doors which some of them were were sort of you know welded uh, 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 stuck or welded shut with sort of you know cobwebs and pipes mm -hmm. from from years and years not being opened. Yes, I can imagine. I can imagine. Well, that's great. I'm going to I'm going to open it up now. So if I, I I can ask everyone to um, unmute, and then we'll 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 all because because um, we'll have a Q and A now. But before we have a Q and A, we'll just show our appreciation for Charlie Charlie and uh, say thank you very much. So thank you very much, Charlie. Thank you. That was great. Interesting. Very, very, interesting. very interesting. Wonderful. Thank you. So, um, so as I said at the beginning, ladies, if you want me to to come to you, if you've got a question. Just um, shout Pauline and then wave at me furiously until I find you, okay? Pauline. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, yeah. Hello. Can, can, can I ask what preempted the sale of these items? You know, obviously they've been around a long, long time. So what preempted the sale of it? Sale now? Uh, why now? Mm -hmm. uh, that's a very good question. Um, I, I think... Uh, um, um, Lord Sutherland just probably felt that now was the right time. You know, now now is you know the time to to have a uh, to have a clear out. And um, uh, um, and I think you know I, it's probably been on, on the cards for an awfully long time. But um, uh, but it just takes you know that that one phone call to you know or that one conversation that you know um, uh, gosh you know we probably really ought to uh, to have a uh, to have a clear out. Um, I wonder you know what's up there. Um, uh, and then I think you know when I when I went there, I, I didn't think anyone really knew how how much would be sold, um, if any. You know, it was it was you know that that first trip was a, I suppose a fact finding um, uh, trip, and I, I think it probably became a sort of fact finding for, for Lord Sutherland as well as well as you know Bonhams. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and I think you know by the end of it, I think we probably found more things than um, uh, than. than um, uh, he even probably realised he had locked away. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sandy. Um, Thank you. Anyone else? Any other question? Please. I've got loads, so I can fill. I could fill at least the next hour. So, if you... <laughs> <laughs> but I'd like I'd like to throw it open to you guys. Oh, who's got who's got the hand up? Dorothy. Hello, Dorothy. Hi there. Um, that was a fantastic talk. Having visited the castle several times, I would love to have gone up to the loft. I would have loved it. Um, you were showing us things and everything's pretty dirty and pretty grimy. Um, 
do, have you got professional cleaners that clean it before the sale or do you just say here it is isn't it authentically fantastic <laughs> what do you do you know that's a that's again a brilliant question um we do we do clean things um a bit but we don't we we don't want to sort of you know remove you know, that that sort of patination of of, of years of, of um of being stored you know so so i suppose we do um uh, give them a bit of a clean the silver um uh, it was locked away so actually it was it was um a lot of it was wrapped up in cling film so it was actually very very clean um uh, but uh, a lot of the dinner services we we did we did wash um because they were absolutely filthy i can imagine <laughs> I, was, I was thinking i was thinking about the marble bus actually i thought we didn't I like know. doing that they've they've had a they've had a, a bit of a dust with we use paint brushes um, okay. Soft bristle paintbrushes to uh, to to sort of dust them, but um, they are we we've kind of left it up to the buyer to decide whether they want to clean it properly and and you know bring it back to the you know the the the, the white Carrera marble um, or the white uh, um, uh, you know that, that, that brilliant white that's underneath all that or or maybe leave it as it is um, mm -hmm. because actually that that those layers of dust um, actually. Uh, um, help it's with history. the definition. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's history. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's history. Mm -hmm. But either the attics were, I mean, Doffy, God, you would have loved the attics. They are, they're, they're, they go, for, go on for miles. There's no mm -hmm. electricity. And um, it was fine in the summer, in August, because it, it never seemed to get dark. But when I went back up in, um, in, in, in December, um, uh, when we were clearing it, it never seemed to get light. And, um, and it, uh, and, and it was, uh, um, I got lost so many times. I, I can't even begin to, uh, to, to 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 count how many times. But I regularly, I just walk around in circles trying to find sort of you know the exit down, and it, these tiny stairs. You know the, the servants weren't uh, you know they they had you know, quite small staircases to negotiate. Um, and uh, and then when I was there in December, I got lost. Um, and I'd just been having a long conversation with Scott about the ghosts of Dunrobin. <laughs> I think there's four ghosts. And um, I like to pride myself on not believing in ghosts, but um, <laughs> when, when, it, when it started getting really dark, um, which it started to do at sort of two o'clock in the afternoon, um, I, uh, I, I was absolutely, I, can't, I was, uh, yeah, I was walking around my mobile phone with a torch going, yeah. oh my God, where are these stairs? <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, luckily, luckily, uh, uh, I didn't encounter um, any of the done with the ghosts. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dorothy. I'm going to go to Angela now. Hello, Angela. <coughs> What's your question, Angela? Oh. Yeah, we've got to unmute. Yeah, I'm unmute, darling, but you don't look like you're on mute, but you may be. No? Hang on. Um... Hmm. Sorry, is that better? Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Um, a 500 piece dinner set is quite impressive. I struggle to get more than a 16 piece at the moment. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Would that have been made to order for them or was that something that they could just get at that time? No, it would have been made to order. So okay. all these dinner services would have been made for order. And, uh, and all of the dinner services are crested. Um, so they've all got the sort of the Sutherland entwined uh, S's, um, the cipher. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, amazing. And they're, they're, it's not just one, there's, there's about three of these vast dinner services and then lots of smaller dinner services as well. So the entertaining um, must have been on a, a level that you know, I can't even begin to imagine. And, you know, even trying to, you know, um, I don't know if anyone's been watching Bridgerton, um, <laughs> but um, you know, even on, on the scale of, of you know, of Bridgerton, you know, I, 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 it must have been vast. Um, and then it's not just the, you know, the, these very grand dinner services, there's also dinner services in the sales, in the sale that would have been used by the servants as well. So there's, which are a less uh, fussy, um, but again, all um, uh, monogrammed to the cipher. Mm -hmm. um, and none of it dishwasher proof either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> none of it put in the dishwasher, the two room and bake. Thank you. Sorry, Angela, you go. You, I thought you were going to. No, I was just saying thank you. Oh, thank you very much, Angela. Thank you. Has anyone else got any any um, questions? Yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, yes. Yep. Yeah. 
Okay, shout, shout Pauline at me and wave, wave your hands. Pauline, Sheila, I'm Sheila, waving. Sheila, and then Sheila. I'll come to Evelyn and then okay. I'll come to Irene, yeah? Uh, will the dinner services be sold as one or will they be split up into different lots? That's what I was going to ask. Oh. <laughs> so um, so we, we're, we're, they're actually going to be sold as, as one, but there's, 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 there's quite a few dinner services. So there's some which are much larger in number um, and then they, they, they go down to more sort of manageable um, numbers. The reason we decide to sell them as one is um, I think just historically, um, uh, we felt that you know maybe you know they should be kept together, um, and um, but uh, you know I I would imagine maybe a bit like the Nanking cargo which uh, was sold in the um, in 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 the late eighties, yeah. there'll be lots of people buying dinner services together and then splitting them up. Um, it, it is uh, also quite difficult to split them up because you know some dinner services you might have. 120 plates and then only six egg cups. Um, <laughs> 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 Could I ask another question? Yes. Here. Yeah. Um, do you have an estimated expected value of the for the sale? Um, do you know, so the estimate for the wholesale, so there's, there's about 450 lots um, in total. And actually the estimate is, is, is pretty modest. It, it's, uh, it's about three to five hundred thousand pounds oh. give or take you know, ten to twenty thousand um, mm -hmm. for everything um and which is which is which is pretty modest in terms of you know the the average uh, lot estimate but we haven't taken into account the value that provenance will bring so with mm. a sale like this it's not the item that's important it's see it's a story yeah. and and uh, people people buy these these treasures pay because they like them so they might buy, you know, a wonderful Chesterfield sofa upholstered in the in the southern tartan, because they need a sofa, um, and it's it's very comfortable. But um, they'll they'll probably pay, and this is what we're slightly hoping, um, a premium because of the provenance, and um, it, it's the fact that it's come from Dunrobin Castle, which is which is loved and, and known by so many, and not just um, in Scotland or, or you know the rest of the United Kingdom, um, America. Oh, America, you know, there's a huge, huge um, sort of Sutherland uh, clan following in America, um, and uh, it's it's. Uh, so I expect a lot of these things will be will be heading across the pond. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you. Um, uh, sorry, you can hear my hear my brain working there, couldn't you? Any more questions, anyone? Oh, sorry, sorry, I've got two hands up here. So oh, I've got a hand up, Carol. Hello, Carol. Yeah, hello. Uh, what it is, I noticed in that cupboard at the last, at the bottom, there was a container, like, I don't know what it was, but it said HMS Leeds on it. Ah, yes. What, HMS. Was it Leeds or did was it? That it, is, hold on, I was going to quickly tell you what that is. I think it was Leeds, I'm not sure. I, I, I tried to write the page yet. You're absolutely yeah. right. It's a, it's, a, it's a presentation piece. Let me just see if I can get it up. I've got it here. Um, it's a presentation piece. Um, well, it's a silver section. Sorry, there we go. One second. Um, here we are, silver. Um, um, Ajax. Mm -hmm. uh, right, here we are. It's an arts and crafts silver presentation casket uh, made by Edwin Sons in Glasgow in 1911. Um, got a cast figure of Ajax, uh, the coat of arms. Ajax. Um, Ajax. And it's, it's engraved, presented to Her Grace, the Duchess of Sutherland, by the chairman and directors of the Scots Shipbuilding and Engineering Company Limited oh, no. on the occasion of the launch of HMS Ajax. Mm. Uh, oh, so a, pre a presentation piece. Looks mm. great. Um, yeah. Anyway, estimate four to six hundred pounds. Oh, very good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Grand old hotel in Oxford. It doesn't seem a lot for her. It doesn't. Yeah, but that's and I used to <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm saying I used to work in the Randolph Hotel in Oxford. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That they used to film Victor Morse. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. 
and we did all the cleaning of the silver. Yeah. I can tell you, <laughs> that was amazing. Wow. But they had a machine with the ball bearings in it. <clears throat> you know, when it, the turns and, and silver, it would put, you could just put the yeah. silver in. And you just turn yeah, it. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. No. Um. Well, we 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 don't have anything as sophisticated as that. Um. Just uh. <laughs> just as just a polished. Uh, you know the what's it called? Silvo. Silvo in a couple of bags. <laughs> and and you know, believe me, I mean, I I I I I'm always clean silver, especially when it comes to photography. And um. Yeah. You know, it's it's uh. Yeah. Uh. I mean, I try and get others to help. Well, <laughs> we used to have the cloches, you know, the silver yeah, cloches. Yeah, I do, absolutely. Yeah, well, there's some of those it, in the cell, actually, those cloches. Yeah. Ah, yeah. And, and at one point, the, the, the hotel is so old, it's over 500 years old. But in the archives, as you say, as you went in at the sides of the house, we found this beautiful cheese trolley and everything. It was oh, amazing. God, amazing. So we took it for years, yeah. but... It all came back to normal after, but it was great fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet. Thank you very much. I missed a good bit at the start, but I'll rewatch it. It's just, yes, it's my, yes. my camera crashed. Yeah. Oh. I think it had enough for all my meetings today. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you very much, Carol. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Audrey, do you have a question, Audrey Mitchell? Do you have a question, Audrey Mitchell? No. No. That's fine. No. Um, anyone else got a question? I, I would probably like to know um what what you think is the star lot in the in the um sale um there are some very good old master paintings um in the sale um uh, there's a uh, but my my which which i think you know we're expecting to make a lot of money mm -hmm. um there are um some very good arms and armor. That's Scottish, a pair of Scottish dueling pistols. I think people get very excited about. Um, there's a big sort of collector's field out there for for, for Scottish arms and, and armor. Um, I think they're going to do very well. Um, what is the star a lot? I mean, there's there are. I mean, there's there's there's, there's so much in the sale uh, in all categories: silver, arms. Uh, paintings or masters, sculpture, furniture. Um, my favorite lot um, is probably the, one of the cheapest lots in a sale. It's a sweet little um, uh, little drawing of a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel called Dash. <laughs> yeah. And it, 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 it's, um, it's, it's a tiny, it's a, like postcard size. And, um, and it, uh, it, 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 it's, it's just, it's not signed. It's just inscribed Dash and uh, dated 1832. And no. I got really excited by this because Queen Victoria's favorite dog was a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel called Dash. Uh -huh. yeah. and, um, and Queen Victoria was great friends with, uh, with um, Anne, um, uh, um, the third Duchess. Um, although she's very, on very familiar terms with Harriet, it was, it was Anne that she was, she was uh, um, well, both of them actually, they're both very close. So I, in my, in my uh, um, optimistic uh, um, uh, way thought that this was going to be a drawing by Queen Victoria and she'd sent it to uh, to um, um, uh, Anne, Harriet or Anne um, uh, as, a, as a letter with, with there'll be an inscription on the back. Um, I took it out of frame there wasn't an inscription on the back which is annoying um, and then did a bit of research on on on, on, um, on Dash and I spent days on this, days and days um, and I found out that Dash was only given to Queen Victoria in 1833. Oh. Um, but I, I still thought this, you know, it, it must be wrong. She must have got it a year before. So I then got <laughs> in, in contact with the Royal Collection and, um, I, and the, um, the, uh, the keeper of 19th century pictures, uh, who's, who's you know, the world's expert on Queen Victoria's drawings, because she was, Queen Victoria was a prolific artist. Yeah. Um, Got back to me, sadly, uh, uh, say it was absolutely not by Queen Victoria. <laughs> but, um, um, but I, 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 I wondered whether Queen Victoria called her dash after this dash. Ah. Um, all seemed a bit of a coincidence. Anyway, so I spent so much time. I spent so much time researching this little uh, drawing of Dash, this little Cavalier and Charles Spaniel, that I've decided I, I, it's my favourite lot in the sale, just because yeah. I feel uh, it's such an offence of it. But I think. I think there'll be lots of things that are going to really surprise us. I think some things that we don't think are going to, you know, are worth a huge amount will sell for, for way more than we, we could ever imagine. 
and I think uh, um, you know other things you know, probably probably will will do what we probably expected. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, auctions are huge gambles. I mean, auctioneers, we all we can do is we can present it to the market and and let the bidding public decide. And you know, we 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 we're we're specialists in our field, but um, you know, uh, uh, what what something's worth is really up to the bidder. So it would be it would be a fascinating sale to watch, and you can watch it. You know, you either partake and bid, or you can just watch it anyway live online. Yeah. They're all, all available. Is it, on Bonham's, is it on the Bonham site? You're not on sale room or anything, are you? Have your own yeah, no, it'll be on the sale room. It'll be yeah. on available, but it'll also be on Bonhams.com. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can watch live. It's gonna it's gonna take forever. It's all done. <laughs> it and um, and it will take all day because uh, there'll be so many internet bids, and um, it'll be a uh, it'll be a, a long a long day. I I, I reckon we, we're doing a sweepstake. I reckon we're gonna finish at nine thirty in the evening. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so it's just a one day sale. So it's just a one day, yeah. That's a lot. Just, of- just, a, just a one day. Yeah, yeah. Which we'll probably regret when we get to eight thirty or Tuesday the twentieth. Keep a goblet handy. Yeah, silver goblet handy with something in it. You'll be fine. Uh, uh, definitely. <laughs> um, I think I think Angela got another question. Hello, Angela. Hi. Sorry, last one. You obviously love history and love your job. You struggle not to buy everything. <laughs> you know, Andrew, I, I, I don't struggle because I got absolute. I should have. I, I, I should. I don't have any money to buy any of it. But I, 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 um, I do. I do love history and I do love these items because of the link to history. And I, I love people buying them and reusing them. Um, but, you know, it, it's wonderful having all these things in the attics. But if they're not being used and not being enjoyed. You know the history has not been you know it's not been um talked about and and i think it's, it's, it's lovely that you know that people are going to get the opportunity to buy a piece and you know and hopefully use these dinner services um uh, because you know they are absolutely there to be used you know all these items are there to be used and um and i think it's just you know great fun to you know to have dinner on a dinner service come from dunwoban and say you know this is you know, from the grand ducal palace in the north you know dunwoban <laughs> <laughs> um, but I wish I keep doing a lottery. I'm, I, I'm um, uh, but I, I um, yeah, but until then, uh, sadly, I, I'll just stick to selling it. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, so um, I'll do one last sweep and see if there's any any more questions. Has anyone got any? Oh yeah, Anne. Hello, Anne. Hello. Transporting all the items must be a huge undertaking down to Edinburgh. How do you how do you do that? Yeah, no, that gosh, that was a huge mission. Uh, we use the most fantastic firm called Greers, um, and they were I've never seen um, men like it. I mean, they they could you know, carry things that uh, would take you know six of me to uh, to do. <laughs> Um, but it wasn't just the weight, it was, it was the volume and it was the, um, you know, packing up these vast dinner services and getting it, you know, from the attics where you've got these, um, you know, very narrow staircases mm-hmm. down to the vans and, and, you know, as you say, then, you know, the six hour drive to Edinburgh and, um, and amazingly, you know, they, they did it and they did it without breaking anything. I mean, they did a phenomenal job, uh, but no, it's a huge, huge undertaking. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, but it, it it's just something that you know unfortunately we have to uh, um, uh, we have to just get on and, and do and and luckily there are some you know great firms out there that you know take these things in their stride and um, and and yeah the, the firm did a job. Mm-hmm. Thank you, and I'm interested in talk. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very Can much. I ask a question? Yes, of course. You're all you're all coming now. I knew you would. I knew you would. Hi. I told you it was. <laughs> last you, word, you would hang on to who's, who's speaking sorry it's fiona mckenzie hello fiona hello hi um it was to ask you you given the range of the uh the auction starting starting prices or starting bids so what's the twenty thousand pound item <laughs> um there's a couple of old master paintings that we are expecting to do very well um there is um the, the the I think this the Scottish uh, Julian pistols I think we 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 think they might uh, attract a lot of interest. Um, what else is there? Gosh, I just done a pace up, so I should be really familiar. With what what else is going to do really well? Um, 
I think probably it's the old masters. I think they're they're the things to to watch. So um, can you just give a couple of examples of artists? Um, neither 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 have artists. Um, both but two seventeenth century uh, portraits, um, and uh, one is. Uh, um, uh, of the Duke of Brunswick, and one is of uh, uh, a gentleman called General Grant, um, and you know both fabulously executed. And uh, we 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 expect they are going to do a lot of do very well. But I think the Scottish Julian pistols is it's a good question. I you know, funny enough, I haven't actually thought what is going to be the uh, the the, uh, the most expensive lot. Um, but it might be it might be a, a surprise item. It might be. You know, the bus by this, you know, this fabulous French sculptor, Charlotte Dubré. Um, you know, maybe that, that um, you know, might be uh, um, a lot that she's a, a bit of an outsider that might uh, be, be the, the eventual star. Yeah. Um, I, I think it would be one that we, I probably haven't thought about, if I'm honest. Mm -hmm. you know, it might be a dinner service. And, you know, with auctions like this, you know, we, they are full of surprises because you just need two people with... Uh, 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 fabulous means um, that really want something, and um, and then it's, it you know, the sky's you know the limit. I mean, it's it's um, it's it's you know, that's what's so fun about auctions. It's the unpredictability of it. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so yeah, I think um, if you if you keep an eye out the next day, um, we'll 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 do a. a we'll all be a, watching a, it live. We'll all be watching. <laughs> it. <laughs> you'll, you'll be you'll be you'll be bored out of your mind. I, uh, it's going to go on for ages. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to be, we're going to be all the auctioneers. We're going to there'll be about three or four of us, and we'll be on rotation. We're going to do an hour and a half on, and, and then um, to keep it fresh. Otherwise, um, you get tired. Um, yeah. 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 What are you going to do the next day? Oh. Um, are you, is, you said there was going to be a summary. <laughs> oh, oh, so the next, the next a, a press release. There'll be a release on on the um, right. on, on 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 the results. The next day, do you know what? I'll probably be really sad the next day. I, I, I suffer from um, uh, sort of you know blue, you know the real blues after these sales because you get so attached to these sales. I mean, I you know I started this in August and it's um, and it'll be uh, you know April twentieth when the hammer comes down and um, and with all these sales and every year I, I, I do probably about three or four um you know big house sales and i um and I, I i get very attached to all of them and you get to know the family so well and the history and 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 the objects you get very attached to the objects and then you know when, when you've been sort of you know living with something for so long and then suddenly you, you stop talking about it you know the next day or well, you don't stop talking uh -huh. about it but you know, it, you know then it's time the next day it's right it's the next sale we're gonna move uh -huh. on and um so I'll, I'll probably be you know slightly mopey and um <laughs> well, then, can I can, can I ask another question? You, you uh, know, you, who, who's who is it speaking? Sorry, Sands. Sands, hello, Sands. Um, you, you said you got quite close to the families and stuff. So, do you know? You know, now that they've cleared out all this attic rooms, are they going to maybe dress them up and, and show them now? You know, when you get a tour of the castles, or will you be able to? They're going to use these rooms now because obviously they couldn't have used them in the past. Yeah, um, Joe, that, that's a great question. I don't know what the intention is with these rooms, um, but um, but I think the first step is 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 clearing. So so this is the first step, and then um, I guess you know that there's there's options to consider, but I, I don't know what those options are. I'm afraid, Sans. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Good question. But it's it's well worth a visit. I mean, it's. I, I forgot how beautiful the Highlands are until you know um, because the last time I've been up was um, you know, going on holiday with my parents and I, it is just magical. I don't think there's anywhere more beautiful in the world. I one they they have a summer house at Tongue, and so some of the items have come from there. And I, I dr drove from Dunrobin to Tongue um, along along the north coast, and um, it is just I'm mean, breathtaking. I mean it's it's um, yeah I mean it's. I think that's what I miss. You know, not going, not having a, um, a an excuse, a business excuse to travel. <laughs> to, uh, to the <laughs> maybe it's Airbnb that room, say. Yeah, it should Airbnb them, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but no, it, it's um, it is just fabulously beautiful, and it's you know the castle. It's it's so worth a visit because the gardens are amazing. The um, I mean, I I I already you know as soon as I can, I'll, I'm going to take the family up, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll have a holiday up there.
because yes. um, you know, like my children sort of so bored of me banging on about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, that I, I've, I've got to share them um, in person, and I love I love the museums full of stuffed animals, yeah. which I find fascinating, and all these sort of you know, Victorian oddities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's been wonderful. Thank you very much, Charlie. That's mm -hmm. been a really lovely talk, and uh, and uh, the, mm -hmm. the chat's full of people saying how much they've enjoyed the chat and, and the yes. talk. So. Thank you very much. So I'll, I'll let you go and have a have an e a family evening, which uh, you, I'm sure you're eager to do. Brilliant. Um, well, look, it's, I mean, thank you very much for inviting me. It's been been you know so kind of you to let, allow me to indulge uh, uh, you know a, a topic which I love. Yeah. Uh, and um, it's, yeah, it's, it's a real privilege for me to be able to you know, share that with you. And uh, I'm sure I offered on far too long, but um, thank you very much. And yeah. you know, if you've got any questions, you can always email me. If you if you're able to come to the sale, um, come and come and. Uh, Come and um, uh, tap me on the shoulder, and uh, uh, you can all have a free catalogue. <laughs> <laughs> the, cat the catalogues when you can deal with them, you, you get all the history as well. They're they're fabulous, aren't they? I mean, are you selling the catalogue at all? Because some we are, we are, yeah, no, we are, we are selling them. So, so by pace, we'll, we'll we'll sell them. But but if yeah. you if you if you're able to come down to Edinburgh, yeah. then you can definitely have a free one. Yes, okay. okay. Well, thank Excellent. you very much. Okay, everyone, just thank to give you, you a, a, a rousing uh, thank you and studio. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye